Campagnolo. Installation of Hydraulic Disc Brake System. In this video, we will see how to install the Hydraulic Disc Brake System. Filling it with oil and bleeding it is covered in the video Filling and Bleeding the Hydraulic Disc Brake System. For the purposes of this example, we're using the components for the EPS V3 Super Record and Record group sets, but the installation is the same for components in the H11 Super Record, Record and Chorus mechanical group sets and for the Potenza 11 group set. We're installing the left control and the front caliper. At the end, we will look at the differences involved in installing the rear caliper. The installation process includes the following phases. Preparation of frame and tools. Preparation of front caliper. Installation of control and preparation of hydraulic hose. Installation of hydraulic hose in caliper. Differences when installing the rear caliper. And filling and bleeding the hydraulic system. See the dedicated video. Preparation of frame and tools. If the wheel has been mounted onto the bicycle, remove it in order to prevent potential oil leaks from the system during the mounting and bleeding phase from contaminating the disc, thus avoiding having to clean and degrease it. The tools to use are normal workshop tools. In particular, we recommend Magura Hydraulic Hose Cutter, Jaguar Barb Driver Tool, Magura Torque Screwdriver with Open Bit Adapter, Torque wrench 4 to 20 newton meters with 8 mm bush and 5 mm hex bit. You will also need the new Campagnolo oil level tool for injecting the correct amount of oil into the system, Campagnolo bleeding tool for filling and bleeding the system, and Campagnolo mineral oil available in 100, 250, or 1000 milliliter containers for filling the system. Remove all traces of paint from the areas where the calipers are to be installed on the fork and near to the holes on the left-hand chainstay. Also remove any traces of paint from the bottom of the holes on the chainstay where the heads of the caliper locking screws will rest. Preparation of front caliper. Fit the oil level tool, which has a width of 10.5 mm. If necessary, Push the pistons back into the caliper using the transportation block. Push them backwards axially in line with the travel of the piston. Fix the tool in place by screwing the pad fastener screw back on. The length of hose must now be removed from the caliper. Loosen the nut, remove the nut and then the hose. Temporarily install the caliper onto the fork with the two Campagnolo screws supplied. Installation of control and preparation of hydraulic hose. Install the control on the handlebar. Insert the hydraulic hose into the hole present on the left fork blade. Assess the correct length of hose by observing its position in the handlebar area and bearing in mind that the part entering the caliper should measure 11 mm in length from the cut end of the hose. It might be wise to use more length than is necessary in case we need to cut the hose again in future installations or in case the stem length or height need to be changed. Use the cutter, making sure that the cut is at a 90 degree angle to the hose. Insert the barb into the hose and push it in using the driver tool. Check that the end of the hose touches the flange on the barb and that the olive can be fitted over the end of the hose. If this is not the case, it is because the hose has expanded due to the barb being inserted too far into it. This situation, which would cause the incorrect positioning of the olive, is solved by cutting the end of the hose and refitting a new barb. Installation of hydraulic hose in caliper. Insert the olive in the caliper and hand tighten the nut on the caliper so as to screw it on safely and with precision without the constraint of the hose. Insert the hose into the caliper and push it until it stops. Tighten the nut, ensuring that the hose is properly inserted into the caliper sufficiently to fix the olive to the hose. Once it has been sufficiently tightened, unscrew the nut in order to extract the hose and check that the chamfering on the olive allows the barb to protrude from the olive itself. 
If this is not the case, you must cut the end of the hose and repeat the installation correctly, otherwise the seal between the hose and barb will not be effective. Insert the hose into the caliper once again, screw on and tighten the nut again to the required torque, taking care not to damage the hose with the tool. Now proceed with bleeding the hydraulic system. Differences when installing the rear caliper. Installation of the rear caliper is the same as for the front caliper, except for the following phases. To help insert the hydraulic hose in the hole in the frame, the barb driver on the end of the hose can be used to guide the hose via a gear cable mounted onto it. Insert the cable into the top hole on the frame, and once it has been threaded through the chainstay, pull on it so that the hose runs through the frame. Due to the position of the rear caliper on the frame, it's easier to insert the olive if the caliper is held in the hand, not fixed to the bike. Insert the olive into the caliper and hand tighten the nut on the caliper. Insert the hose into the caliper and tighten the nut ensuring that the hose is securely inserted into the caliper. While for the front caliper there is only one length of screw, the two rear Campagnolo screws must be selected based on the following table, which ensures that the screws are inserted at least 5mm into the caliper. If the hydraulic hose passes through the bottom bracket shell and no other separate routing is required, the axle cover cylinder supplied with the hydraulic component set needs to be installed in the bottom bracket, 